Hello and welcome back to ESA Summer 2021. We're raising money for Save the Children, which is a great cause, and you can find links to donate below the stream. We'd also like to thank Twitch and ViewSonic for sponsoring this event. And just before I throw to the run, I would like to read a quick donation. It's $5 from our very own Tiny Tim, who says, Hey all, donating for the amazing Battle Axe and Jimmy Diamonds. You're a fantastic speedrunner, and it's brilliant to see you showing your run at ESA. Good luck with the run. Uh, and that's basically what I was going to say. Good luck with the run, Jimmy Diamonds. It's all yours. Thank you very much. Thank you for that donation, a Tiny Tim. Hello, everyone in chat. My name is Jimmy Diamonds. I'm about 75% beard, 25% moron. But it doesn't really matter because we're here today to play some very, very fast video games. I am playing Battle Axe. Battle Axe was developed by Bitmap Bureau, who made Xeno Crisis, Hank Nyborg, famed pixel artist, and the music's by Maname Matsume, who did Mega Man. And it's a great, great game. But it's also very, very quick. So hold on to your seats. We're going to go nice and fast. A couple of things to set up the run beforehand. First off, we are playing on easy mode. That's not just because I'm a scrub, even though that is indeed the case. That's to ensure that we can kill bosses nice and quickly and not have to waste a precious resource that we're going to get as we're playing through the game, which is gold. I'll explain that in a few moments time. And the character that I am choosing in the arcade mode is ILO. ILO is the fastest character in the game by a huge margin. Good golly gosh. He has great movement speed. He has great damage output and he can eat through bosses like no tomorrow. So it's going to be a lot, a lot of speed and fun. Um, I'm going to choose his green outfit. Makes no difference whatsoever, but I am going to get you guys to start our timer in a few moments. Are you ready for me to start the timer? Yes. I'll take that. Yeah, great stuff. So we are going in three, two, one, go. So the first thing that we are going to be aiming to do is to collect 50 gold because we want to get a upgrade in between the levels. Now, the easiest way for us to get gold is to kill enemies, but if you want to kill 50 enemies, that's quite slow, like I'm going right now. I don't really want to go slow, we want to go fast, because it's a speed run, everyone! So I am going to go find some of these chests. Now, the chests are RNG. I didn't get gold in that one. The chests, if they do contain gold, will contain 25 gold, which is good, because I only need 50 gold. So two chests with gold in, it means I am doing well. There we go. Now the enemies just walk at you randomly and they just meander. Most of them are harmless. The little flies, they shoot at you. We don't want them to hit us, so we kill those straight away. I'm going to be killing lots of things off the screen as well. You'll notice that I'm just going to be firing this into the nether, but I'll be killing lots of stuff and potentially getting a load of gold. Now this little crater here, that was a uh, generator, quite similar to how you'll find in a game like uh, Gauntlet, but the generators also work as keys to certain gates so you didn't obviously see that go through but i'll show you that again in a few moments time uh, as you can see we are just lightning fast through this we are really close to the first boss in the game and you'll see the benefits of us playing on easy mode in a few seconds time because i can just stand here mash the shoot button oh yeah isla's got a lovely magic attack and we're going to drain the boss's health in a few moments time very very quick shout out to the sonic speedrun community including guys like huds argic Teach. you guys are legends keep on doing what you're doing one minute 16 for that stage isn't so fantastic but it's okay. We don't have enough gold to buy the upgrade that we need from the shop. This is Elfwyn, um, but we don't need to speak to her right now. So we're just going to skip to the next level. This is level two. We are going to jump into this gold. And there we go. We picked up 20 gold. So we only need seven more gold to be able to buy the upgrade at the start of the next level. So destroy that generator. This gate is open and that's good this stage introduces these skelly boys the skelly boys are frustrating as anything because they go very fast they want to kill you we don't want to die so we are going to try and kill those as fast as possible or dodge them going to destroy another generator there we go we've dodged that i'm going to hit another chest just in case we have something here we got a big old potion we like the potion that heals all of our health the chicken that i've dropped only heals one health um so the big potion is very useful we only need two more to get our upgrade at the start of the next level and we have got all the gold we need but i just got hit that's a shame um you'll also see that ilo has a dash attack now the dash attack is overly powerful if i dash into something it will die almost without question it's stupidly powerful and that includes pretty much all the main enemies in the game you sometimes see that there are going to be two of the generators in a row most times the gates only need one generator to open so we'll just destroy the one generator and we should be fine i've used my potion just so i can go through this bit because this is kind of scary however this will be very close to the second boss in the game just kill these things let this bridge open and we are opening this chest just out of principle and it's a chicken that's all right and i actually took damage now i need to get some crab chat uh, crab emotes in the chat for this little bit of a crab rave that we are having whilst i am just shooting and killing and damage boosting there we go the boss is nearly dead 
And the boss is dead. That was the shortest crab rave in history. You have no idea how short that was. However, that time, 2 minutes 40 at the end of the second stage is okay. Not fantastic, it's okay. We're just about to hit the third stage, so I definitely need to pick up my speed up. That increases ILO speed by a huge margin. So we're going to fly faster than ever before and try and dash into things to kill them and shoot them to kill them as well. These green guys are annoying because they ignore iframes. We don't want them to ignore iframes because that's bad. We'll lose a lot of health. I've just destroyed a generator off screen. Now I'm just trying to skip a spawn. I skip the spawn. That's fantastic. Normally three of those green guys spawn if you don't skip that. And that can be very frustrating because again, they ignore iframes and they will hurt you incessantly. Go nearly at it. Oh, I didn't mean to take damage there. That was really stupid, but it doesn't matter. Another potion. We'll take the potion. I'm trying to get 20 gold here. So I'm probably going to do a little bit of grinding in a few moments. Didn't mean to take damage there either. Or I will destroy this guy and take his chest that he's defending. And I've got a chicken. That's okay. Yeah, we definitely need to do a little bit of grinding as we're going forward to the next part of the stage. A couple of skips, a couple of skips, shooting stuff, shooting stuff from off screen again. Dodging past that guy. He's kind of dangerous. Those green guys are also kind of dangerous. And we are going to be destroying this tower, killing a few things up here. And then we're going to go on to a very good time if you have anything to read out from your uh, notes, Josh. It's all yours. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yes, I'll do it quickly. Just meet the tempo of this uh, commentary. Uh, Prizes.esamarathon.com is a good website. Uh, you can win things. There's a PS5. That's prizes.esamarathon.com. Get your donations in. Okay, thanks. Bye. Amazing speed. Almost as fast as I am. That's actually not something to boast about. But it doesn't really matter. It's a video game. I'm just going to try and avoid some enemies. Avoid taking damage here. I did. There's a little glitch. If I press down, I get stuck. But I didn't. I pressed left instead and I didn't get stuck. That's great. Dodge this guy. Do a couple of skippy things. Oh, I'm taking damage. I probably shouldn't be taking damage here. Destroying stuff from off the screen. Heal up. And we're going to jump into here. Oh, I took damage. That's not good, but it doesn't matter. We are on to the third boss in the game. I call this guy Dave. Dave the Dragon. What an amazing name for a dragon. If you don't call all your dragons Dave, then you are missing out on your existence. Going to just shoot and shoot and shoot. As you can see, Ilo's damage output is ridiculous. Ridiculous, and I'm killing things ridiculously fast. I got a two cycle. I'm really happy with that, and I haven't died so far. Something I haven't mentioned this game has three lives, zero continues, which means that if I do die three times, that's run over. It's not looking like that's going to happen at the moment, which is good, so I'm really, really pleased. I am going to buy this magic scroll. This magic scroll I'm going to maintain until the last boss in the game. Oh, yeah, there's four stages. We're on the last stage. We're not that far from the final boss. Just dashing into these things as per usual, because that is by far the quickest way to kill and destroy stuff. These red guys are annoying because they fire stuff at you. So instead of just kind of ignoring your iframes, they'll try and hit you from afar, and we don't like being hit because we want to keep as much health as possible to damage boost the boss these magic guys are also very annoying again we don't want them to hit you i think i just saw a small graphical glitch i haven't seen that for a while that's good uh we also have these blue skelly boys these blue skelly boys are much faster than the gray skelly boys so we are going to try and kill those quite quickly if we're playing on the difficulty level of hard mode don't know why i said it that way uh those guys actually let out a noxious gas after you kill them so we don't want to have that happen that's um rather annoying Oh, it took some damage. That's okay. I didn't mean to walk into that guy. We're coming up to a little gauntlet here before we're onto the last small part of the dungeon in the game. I've taken too much damage. That's annoying, but it's okay. We've got through there without a huge amount of issues. Now we're in a small labyrinth here. I have to destroy some of those generators. One is destroyed already. We've got through the first part of the labyrinth. We're going to destroy the second part from afar. Again, the damage output of Ilo's attacks is ridiculous. Ridiculous. We're going to go up, then up, and then we're going to destroy a lot more of these generators, and then we're going to go to the bottom right and go on to the final boss. We, yes, we are nearly at the final boss, and that's actually not going to take very long at all. Excuse my voice from disappearing, because I haven't drunk something for the last five minutes. I really should be. You need to stay hydrated, yo. Oh yeah, quick shout-outs to the Blazing Chrome community. I love you guys very much. I wish to see Blazing Chrome back in the ESA or GDQ at some point very soon. This is Ethel Dread. She is a boss. She has two different phases. I'm going to shoot her from here. Take some damage. You're going to shoot her from here. Oh, no. That's not good. I'm going to trigger my magic attack. And her first phase is gone. Now, her second phase, there is a blind spot where I'm standing. I'm just going to mash. So whilst I'm just standing here mashing for a few moments and getting the boss's first part gone, um, I'd like to give a few more shout outs. ESA, thank you ever so much for having me at this event. I love you guys. I've been watching for a number of years, and it pleases me to this to be my very first ESA. Thank you ever so much. Very quick shout out to my wife and my children. You guys are everything to me. I love you so much. You have no idea. We are really close to time, by the way. And that is time. 
at 6.35, I think that's a little bit slower than my last marathon run, uh, but 6.35 is not so bad at all. It's not so bad at all. So that was Battle Axe, stupidly quick. It's available on Steam, Switch, PlayStation, Xbox. Um, it's really, really good. It's really good. If you like games like Gauntlet, Chaos Engine, Zombies Ain't My Neighbor, Xeno Crisis, it is right up your alley. Um, trying to think who else I need to give a shout out to. The speedrun community as a whole, in the last few days, everyone has come together to protect the community and make sure that everyone is being as safe as possible. Uh, and I love you all. I truly love you all. Um, I also want to give a quick shout out to uh, my mum. Now, my mum is no longer with us, unfortunately. Today would have been her birthday. I have her to thank for everything I've gained in the last two years of being part of the speedrunning community. From her buying my Mega Drive back when I was very, very younger, me playing Sonic 2 and just kind of falling in love with video games. Um, thank you, mum. I miss you a lot, but thank you. I love you very much. And I'll see you soon, okay? Um... Yeah, that's um, that's it. Thank All you. right, awesome. Thank you. Thank you a lot. That was a great run. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think I think you had almost had enough time in the estimate to do a second one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that again. That has my wrist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, well, coming up next, we have Sonic Blast by Hypnotics and S2. So, yeah, thanks a lot for that run. Very heartfelt. And, yes, we'll be back soon. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 